I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Good afternoon, everyone! Paul yell is... Yell a little louder. I don't think Jesus can hear me. That's the point! Let Jesus hear me! Anyway, so we are in the park today. So, my mom gave us some information. She was like, there is a park that no one is ever at. And we are here! Like, it is pretty empty. Yeah. People are watching Orion play fetch. Enjoying his training. So, Paul and I decided to, you know... A little pick. Do a picnic and also take this pup out. He's been going house crazy and we all know he loves to work, so this is good for him. I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at what we have here. Our little setup. You know, it's all clean, everything's good. We have lunch there, we got some suntan lotion. We always have to have the lotion on us because Paul does have Crohn's disease and he is at a very high risk of getting skin cancer so right now we actually have to apply some on him even this little amount of sun he's getting is not that good so we have to hurry up and apply some All right, drink. Oh, yeah. good boy. we had a little fun out there i really like this area i like it it's, it's like a, a really nice park now, why not they did it you can do it too oh, i'm saying that'd be really nice you can ask them maybe but six feet away from so each other. <laughs> Look at Orion. Right. So Paul is being super romantic and packed us a picnic. Too bad Orion's breath is destroying this romantic mood. Take hey. notes, boys. <laughs> Ew, he's all Orion. gross. Orion. Oh, uh, what are Orion. you doing? Oh. Down. There's also another golden retriever. It's a lot older. And I guess they wanted Orion and the golden to play. No, it's so cute. Distancing. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, it's so cool. It's like maybe 10 years old. No, it has yeah, to be it older. Has, like, it's all full like white hair. Yeah, it's all white. It's not even gold anymore. I always said when Orion gets that white, I'm putting him up for adoption. I only like gorgeous golden boys. Ha! Huh. Orion kept pushing our buttons. And he's in timeout. You are in timeout. Yeah, he doesn't care. He's like, I still see you. I'm still close. I'm outside. I'm happy. It's the best time out I could have ever had. Look at Orion. Enjoying his breeze, too. It's nice. Look at that. All open plain. Open field. Ah! Big! Big! Ah! Still! Something you guys may or may not know about me. I am not a... Outdoor person. I am not. The only reason why I'm not an outdoor person is because of bugs. Flying bugs. Any form of bugs, I just can't deal with. And the only reason why is because of the sounds they make. It actually... I hear the sounds right now. They have a little weird, like, the buzzing. The buzz is sound like, with, the, with, their, with their wings. They're right next to Jenny's and when they like, fly by you, like, freaks her out and annoys her. It, yeah. It could be for my, from my hyperacusis. It is a condition that certain sounds, frequencies, I hear it more dramatic and... It, it hurts your ears. So, like, put it this way, like, the bass and, like, music, you know, when you look up or something for it. Most people, it doesn't bother them, but for her, even the slightest amount of bass, yeah. like, causes her extreme pain in her ears. So, honestly, when it comes down to just being outdoor, I get more of the bugs in my ears, and it's actually feels painful. I don't know why. It just, like vibrates and it's an uncomfortable sensation but i still try to go out i like to be outdoorsy as much as i can because paul likes it see i'm a country boy i'm a city girl <laughs> all right guys tell us what you are you country or city definitely city i wonder what orion is he's a beach boy he is he loves beach so paul is over there with orion you know there were people over there with the golden retriever, with the older golden retriever, and they finally left. And we just wanted to go see what was over there. Like, it's different from our, you know, little tent house here versus theirs. It's just a nicer view. There's my pup. He's like, hi, I missed you. He has everything. We still have our stuff out and about. All right, if you want to drink, you can drink. Come here. 
Okay, so he's daddy okay? Is daddy coming? All right, so actually today this has turned out a lot better than what we both expected. The breeze is absolutely amazing. Weather is perfect. It's like 80 degrees, so it's nice and warm, but with the breeze it feels super cool. You can see Janice and Orion hanging out right there. So we are just taking it super chill, super relaxed. Beautiful view of the lake behind us. Actually, nice spot. I'm glad I found it. You found it. Yeah, me. Hello. We packed up everything, our wonderful picnic on. We're gonna go back home and give this gross dog now a bath. He did, he deserves one. So while we are leaving with the pretty birdies, they're cranes, right? I believe so, yes. Floridian cranes. There's the mommy, daddy, and the baby. Now, these things get aggressive when they have children. Yeah, for- What happened to, didn't it happen to you guys? So, my dad's car is actually black, and they can see the reflection mm. in the black paint really, really well, and they flip out yeah. on dark colored cars. So like dark blue, black, it happened to my car, it happened to my dad's car. Yeah. There was a few of them in our in our old neighborhood when I lived with my parents. And they would literally go on top of your car and start scratching at it yeah. like crazy, like picking at it Thinking with Thinking it's beak, another like, dog, another. Another, another bird. And I mean, like they would go insane. Like I remember I did it to my neighbors. Like I would run up to the car and be like, go, 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 like shoot them away. And then my neighbor would come out and he's just like, damn it, the whole hood's yeah. all scratched and dented. And this car like, was pretty bad. Yeah, no, they, they, went, they went hard. When you see roads like these, it scares me in Florida. Why is that, Paul? It excites me. So this is a little marshland over here. Like, this, is like, this is prime country for gators. Yes. Yeah. This, this is what they love. And I remember we stopped and we got out of the car here the other day and you can hear them like out and about like resting around there yeah. and uh, yeah no she did not believe me this is it's scary the only reason why it's scary is because they like walk in between the roads so and you cross see them from this side to this side because it's water and, and you do see the their trail the game trails where and they go through yeah. it is scary because then i feel like you know you hear stories actually in florida in florida if you walk too close to them you know data could grab you and take you pretty much and me no like you everything this in florida Including the Florida man. Ah, good one. A good one. So let's see if we see a trail so we can show you guys. Hi guys. Hi. Let me see. I'm looking for a trail. I'm looking for a trail. Oh. Oh, not very used right now. Let me see. There was one I think up there more like. Oh, we saw the gator eggs. There it is. Wait, 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 wait. Gator eggs are like around there. I remember. I think those are snake eggs. Snake. Oh, there, there. We see shells there. Um, and you see trails. Let me see. I'm trying to find a good trail for you guys. Oh, there's like a perfect trail. You see how smooth that is? Right there. And they just go deep in there. And it's just scary because, you know, they could just chill around. More down this way. These ones haven't, they haven't been used in a little here, bit. Here, take, take uh, the camera so you can show them your side. Uh, there's a few trails here and there. You know, a little... These haven't been used very much. So, uh, you know, like now there's pets here. But, like, back that way, as you can see, like right here. Not only gators come through here, also some, uh, some hogs, like boar, and um, that river otter too. So Paul has started the process of Ryan getting a bath. Where, where are you going, bud? Where are you going? Excuse you. Where are you going? Then once Paul's done with the bath proportion, I will take over and start drying. Right, bud? Uh, I do need to do his paws. I do more, most of his grooming, but I've been lazy. I'm so proud. I got this little patty for Ryan. See, has his uh, grooming hair, nails, ears, solution, shampoo, everything can be yep. for him. So and all uh, that fun stuff there. A lot of people ask how he's so gorgeous. Yeah, I, it takes a lot of work, man. It takes a lot of work. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at all the brushes he has in here. Hold on, hold on, there's more. God, you make it seem so extra, yep. He is extra, okay? Plus there's clippers too. So we have all of this to keep our pup groomed. Oh, Ryan is nice and clean, right, Papa? He's a good boy, and nice and floofy. Yes, after his playful day, right, Papa? Now he's ready for dinner. 
Floofiness, you're floofiness, you're floofiness. Ah. Your floofiness. Look at this. Look at his mane. It's so floofy. Mm. So we have the dog's food prepped here. Look at that. Orion is giving us the A OK light. You're like, food? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And this is his food. We have a lot more. I'm so happy. So the Honest Kitchen actually reached out to us again. We already did a collaboration with them once previously and they loved working with us so they said hey would you guys be willing to work with us again mm -hmm. so we said of course we would we would be more than happy to so they gave us these two boxes one is whole grain chicken and another one is whole grain turkey plus this daily booster which is a little powder of goat's milk so with this daily dose milk, it has a lot of benefits to it. And with their food, we don't just give them this food, we do add also other things like coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, some actual fresh fruits and veggies into it as well. And now this is just something else that we can add in there too. And this is just, again, food is good for them, but a few things to boost their immune system, their coat, everything is always welcome. Right, Pup? Mm -hmm. Some for Ryan, and of course, some for you, your little princess. Paul's enjoying it. What? Do I have something on my chin? Here, hold on, hold on. Let me go down to her level. So right. that joke is getting very old, very quick. Whatever. Then you okay, take I'll the camera. Just, it's okay. I'll just uh, you know. Look, All right, guys. Pretty down here. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is time for us to take it easy. We had a fun time, spent times with our pups, and enjoyed quality time. And Yodi's like right here. Like. So, guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.